Hey there, I'm Strokeman, and it's been a while since I made a video, but today I am going to make a video showing you how to connect a PlayStation 4 controller to Ubuntu using Bluetooth. The reason why I'm doing this is because I, I, I was actually surprised that I couldn't find a video anywhere. I mean, maybe I didn't look hard enough, but I couldn't see a video on YouTube saying how to use Bluetooth to connect your PlayStation 4 controller. And I mean, yes, you can just use it wired, but who wants to use a wired controller? I, I, I mean, it's different with mouse and keyboard, but I, I, I don't like using wireless mice and keyboards. But wireless controllers, I, I much rather prefer that. So, in order to do this, it's not that hard. It's only a few lines in the terminal, maybe four or five lines. But in order to do this, you do this using something you called DS4DRV. And in order to install this, if you're like me, you need to have pip, the command pip, working. And for that, you just need to type, to install that, you just need to type sudo apt get install python dash pip and then press enter and once that's installed you might I don't know if you will but you might also have to have python dash dev installed because if you don't ds4 drv won't install so next do python dash dev and install that. Now once that's installed, you can now install DS4 DRV. And you do that using sudo pip install DS4 DRV. If you didn't install Python Dev, you might have gotten an error that that read X error code X8664 blah 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 something like that. You wouldn't get the successfully installed DS4 DRB. And now that you have it installed, get your PS4 controller and put it into pairing mode. And to do that, you hold the the PlayStation button and the share button. I'm doing that right now, you can't see it, but I did it and now the light is blinking. And after that, type DS4 DRV by itself in the terminal. And I'll start scanning for devices. And there we go, found it. And it tells you how much battery you have, and also when your battery is getting low, the light on the PS4 controller will start to flash. The, there's one other downside is that um, when you're done, it doesn't turn off. The controller won't turn off. You'll need to manually turn it off by holding the PlayStation button. And the only other notes I have to say for that is that you have to have, obviously you have to have Bluetooth on your computer, but you also need to have a Bluetooth dongle that is either t version 2.1 or higher. 2.1 will, or 2.0 will work, but it's not, there have been problems with it, but 2.1 and higher is good. And I probably should have done this at the beginning of the video, but in order to check to see which version of uh, which version your dongle is, you type you open another a terminal and write H, type hci config dash a, and right next to hci version, it it'll say which version you have. So I have version 
And if for some reason your your uh, Bluetooth is disabled and you don't know why, you can type sudo chmod x slash user slash sbin slash bluetooth d and then you would press enter I'm, I don't need to do that because my bluetooth is working and then after that you would enter sudo service bluetooth restart and then press enter and it should work for you now I just wanted to demonstrate to you that this actually does work I am using the PS4 controller and I am going to go in big picture mode of Steam and I have my computer muted so you can hear other stuff going into the library let's check out um, let's try Shadow Warrior. Again, I'm using the DualShock 4 for this. And right now I am using I'm using the PS4 controller for this. I do not even remember where I last saved this game. <clears throat> and I've never used a gamepad for this. So this will be interesting. Alright, bumper to sprint. Alright. Sucks. By the way, spoiler alert. That's that's it. It doesn't take that long. It's not hard to do. So, if you like this video, please like it. If you hated it or you don't like me, just like the video. And if you really liked it, maybe even subscribe. And by the way, I am Struckman. I make the music for this channel. I have an album that is coming out. I since I've been backed up, I've been trying to get it out at least next month. It's called Evolved, and I've, I've worked on it for maybe about a year, so please check it out. So, other than that, thank you. Have a great day.